104.1 KRBE. Let's get started. It's the Rula and Ryan Show. Wake up, fool! Hey, wake up! It's about to get all stupid up in here! Right here! Featuring <laughs> Eric. Eric? He is a bad, bad man! Special K. The big red K. Are you threatening me? I'm waiting for you. And Sam. <gasps> You've waited long enough. How the heck do you pronounce this woman's name? Rula. <laughs> and Ding Dong. Ryan. 104.1 KRBE. Good morning and welcome to the Rula and Ryan show. Minus Rula, but everybody's here. The whole gang is here. Yep. Eric, Special K, Sam, Ahmad, and myself, Ryan. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. She's, she's supposed to go this morning mm-hmm. for surgery. So. Yeah. Got fingers crossed. Everything's going to be good. Yeah. 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 good. She's It'll been be good. waiting for this moment. She's been putting it off, as it were. For a year. Uh, for a year, at least. But finally, it has come to the point where she must do something about it, Houston. So I think so, uh, July is a great time. You know, we've, we've got a couple. So hot outside. You don't want to go, go anywhere. You're not going to go outside anyhow. <laughs> to stay home. Kick yeah. it in the house. And he, she's got a lot of little kids to serve her. Yeah, that'll yeah. Be oh, that's true. They're just... not in school. Three servants. Right. you got to like I mean, come on. Attendance, as it were. Yeah, they're in, they're older now. They can fend for themselves. Make hopefully, food for themselves. Yeah, make food. Yeah, they can make. They can definitely uh, make some oatmeal or, or some pasta or something like that. Pasta. <laughs> Why do <laughs> kids love pasta so much? I mean, I love pasta. And I don't I'm remember liking pasta that child. much as a kid. No, no. What? I, I, I love it all. pasta. Every single restaurant I would go as a child, I would order pasta, and it'd be the most expensive meal, and then I would not eat it. It's like, the I cheapest to it. make. Why would it be so expensive? I think because of like noodles and boiling water and like sauce. A, a black truffle. Mm, that smell Ew. of truffle. You didn't have that, that when we were yeah. kids. No. I didn't even know what truffle, truffle was. No, 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 no. Like, I hated spaghetti yeah. forever. Turns out I didn't hate spaghetti. I just hated mom's spaghetti. Really? It was, right. like, it was just this really sweet, saucy. It tastes like basically a ketchup and noodles. It wasn't very uh, spicy. Yeah, it was watery. I didn't like it. Ew. And you're painting a terrible picture. Well, mom's a good cook, but just you know, spaghetti. Little basic, bit desired. real yeah. basic. She had a Betty key. Crocker cookbook, and she had a rotation. Every day of the week, it'd be like, Spaghetti one day, pork chops another day, uh, hamburger another day. You know, that is the same loaf. thing for same for thing. most of your life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to was 18 on Sam, pork chops. Sam's gonna find out in a few years. Like that's mm-hmm. gonna be your dread. Like when you get in the morning here, yeah. you get the show going around nine thirty. You'll be like, all right, what, are, what am I gonna make for Santiago tonight? What, what's he gonna want to eat? Mm-hmm. He's picky. He doesn't want this. It's it's like oh, some man. of my wife rules the same way. It's like you want because you want your kids to eat healthy or yeah. no, at least mom, eat something. Shake right. your fingers. Don't give yeah. in though. Again. You gotta you gotta have the discipline because if they're super super picky, they'll end up like me, and you don't want that. Oh, Sam's a pushover. Yeah, <laughs> you know this kid's gonna be. You want chocolate bars he for breakfast? Sure. Oh, for sure. She's He's afraid gonna... to say no to anyone, especially her baby. So can you imagine her sweet baby? Like, oh, please, mommy. Please, oh, okay, mommy. okay. okay. Don't want a Twix oh, bar for breakfast. No, no. Like, we don't have candy at our house. He's not getting candy. Well, not now. But, but wait till he friends. can reach it uh, on the grocery store aisle yeah. in the car. No. Impulse buys. His little treat will be like apples and bananas. That's that'd be great. That's you can do your that. healthy treat. Now I don't know or what like y'all. A smoothie. What y'all did as dads, or if y'all even were in the supermarket with the children, did I you was. allow them to put it in the cart and then sneak it out at the very end, or did you just say no, 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 no the whole way through? I was yeah. no, no, no. Or I'd be like, oh yeah, I want some of that too. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I did what Sam did. You know, we raised her on like fruits and vegetables. She did not eat junk, and she was never sick until we introduced that stuff into yeah. her diet. Because it's like all her friends would be eating it and I'm like, all right, you can have a candy bar, all right, you can have potato chips. And then, and then all of a sudden her health wasn't so great. You know, she started catching colds and getting sick. Plus one kid is not that hard. Two, they both want different things. Oh, well, no, okay. no one's ever on the same page. Mm-mm. Even last yeah. night my kids wanted to make something. Mm-hmm. Like they had two choices of something, just like a, you know, still on TikTok they want to make. And they couldn't agree on this. I'm like, you're 14 and 12 now. Come on. I knew it was going to happen. Why oh, did I even give you yeah. two choices? I should have just said. You can do this. So do they? So me and my brother were yeah, several years you apart. We were fought. Fighting? You fought uh-huh. all the time. Do do your kids fight like me and my brother did? No. Like uh, antag- antagonization? I know it's hard to believe that I would ever antagonize. Oh my god! Oh, you? I'm surprised never. your brother didn't want to strangle you. He t- he came close many times. <laughs> I still you're have, the older one. I know. Yes. I still have injuries. Usually the younger is more immature, and would like. 
try and poke the bear at the older one. Kevin right. likes to find somebody that he can boss around. That's why Kevin and I get along so well, because I always poked the bear when I was a kid, because yeah. I was the middle drown. Yeah, 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 Just yeah. Just trying yeah. to cause drama? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, to see what I can get away with. Kevin mm-hmm. did that until his brother got taller. Right, Which was and then he can beat you up. Very quickly. Age eight. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure it was like that. Did he throw that in your face uh, as a kid? Throw it in my face? No, he kicked me in my face. Oh, usually. my God. He, he, as a lot so of kids aggressive. know, the move is you lay on your back and you kick your feet as hard you as you flam. can. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and then I couldn't get the channel clicker away from him, and then we'd have to watch stupid glowworms or Kevin something Kevin looks like, like an upside-down turtle on speed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, though. It's like growing up with a, you know, I was one of three boys, and my baby brother is 10 years younger, so he got so away couldn't with fight murder. I couldn't fight with him, but my middle brother and I, we fought all the time, and the only time we'd ever cry is if we broke something. We broke the kitchen, the dining room table. We had one, is the 80s. It was one of those glass dining room tables, mm-hmm. and we broke the edge of it, and we both looked at each other like, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to kill us. Yes. We're dead, we're dead, we're dead. But speaking of kids, dead man, I totally forgot mm-hmm. that my daughter was flying in last night. She lives in L.A. now. That. Well, I forgot. She just she has. He's too busy yelling at uh, the mayor of, New- of oh, Jersey we'll get to Village. That in a second. <laughs> um, no, she has. She had like a layover here in Houston, so oh, nice. She's just coming over. You know, just she's leaving this morning when I get done with work, so I only get to see her for a second. But I'm sitting there typing at my desk That's in more the morning. Than layover. Well, I and mean, it's like you a, spent the night. I thought layover was like she got in at hours. like two thirty in the morning. Apparently, so it's four thirty in the morning. I'm typing there and I hear this. Hey, and I'm like. Ah! That'd be scary. <laughs> it scared yeah. the crap out because I live alone. And I just yeah. like totally had forgotten that she was, you know, letting herself in. You gotta tell her, honey, you need to uh, like, wear a little text bell me, like a kitty cat. Get shot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't roam around the house carrying my gun, but. but I mean, if you're sleeping and you hear something, yeah, the door you open. I hope that you would know. Who is it? Yeah. <laughs> now, Eric's referring to my Instagram post, man. I was so mad at Jersey Village. My I was neighbor. dying laughing. Well, because I'm like, a, man, he has gone off the deep end. This heat is taking him I down. I am so angry <laughs> at, at my neighborhood. And you then, see it? You always get like one I or didn't... two people that'll say, if you don't like it, move. No, you don't move. When you love a place and you want to improve it, you speak out. You're not a little sheep. That's like saying you're not happy in a marriage, you know, and, but you still love them. Well, just get out. You just leave. No, well, you want to no, try and work on no, it. You want to work on it. it exactly. Exactly. That's the coward's way out is to move or leave. So um, they had closed one of the entrances to the neighborhood. Now, every day, by the closure of this entrance, it's an extra five-mile round trip for me. That's that's 2.5 miles each way. I think that's what the people had the problem with. Like, oh, oh, no, Ryan. Well, no, but because it's... Those are the comments. Okay. But you but, had like 90% defending you. Yeah, because the whole reason they closed this entrance was to build a new clubhouse for the golf course. Now, that was two weeks ago. This bridge has been unnecessarily closed for two solid weeks. They have not done a thing on that club. Oh, that's because it's not in Philly. They, they build them they, real they, fast they, up there. Not <laughs> a single, not even a they hammer, not a tool, nothing. And it's been unnecessarily closed. And hundreds of cars every day take that way. I don't know how it works. but Hundreds like, of cars. When you're building houses and stuff, like we had to put things around trees. And you don't just the next day start tearing stuff down. You need permits. Oh, I understand that. Yeah. So just you have to prepare for it. You can't just all of a sudden put the fence up and then just start tearing stuff down. I get that. You, you have to prepare, prepare for it. So I took it ready. one step further. I went into the clubhouse. Hey, when's a uh, new construction going to begin? I'm like, huh? I heard about that. <laughs> they don't know. Uh-oh, he going on down there. But they wouldn't. Why would I tell that guy? Like, if I'm, well, why would you tell the people <laughs> that the work in the place company. that's going to be uh, tearing it down? If I'm the construction company, I'm like, I don't give a crap. Yeah. I got the deal. I'm just saying it's unnecessary. They do not need to have it all boarded up right now. I was just pissed off. But what did you, what so did then you, what happened? Yeah, what did you do? <laughs> I just post. So now uh, a group of 50 neighbors is gathering today, and uh, they've invited me to their meeting. Uh-oh. Are you going to go? Because they're angry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And and you will preside up? over it? Are you going to preside? I think they want hey, you. I think Loser they, over there. I think they want Ryan to be mayor. <laughs> Take you're like, the notes. You're going to be like Roy Kent in Who's Ted Lasso. Right? He just Roy? calls people out. Like, oh. Instead of saying, hey, Sam. It's like, ponytail yeah. girl. Soccer girl. <laughs> well, I think you need over a... there, tank top guy. Everybody should get involved in their local <laughs> community. I mean, you're paying your it's your tax dollars. People say, "Well, what, what, what you got to write to?" Because you're on the radio. It has nothing to do with being on the radio. It has everything to do with the fact that I pay a lot of taxes, and I'm pissed where my tax money is being spent. That's all. And you do too. Every single human being who buys a house, you're paying a lot of property taxes. Definitely. Now, mm-hmm. I, I want to know, you know, if they, if you do go to this meeting and they do formally request you to do this job, I, 
Uh, will, number one, will you do it? Because you do have time. I mean, what else you got going on? Yeah. Your daughter is away. Yeah, that's, that's true. You Take are single, what you attractive go in there? gentleman. We have to go in there and find out. It's like on a militia the- or something. What? It's like a militia. You don't realize you're with a group of people that... <laughs> A lot of people are upset. What the hell did I just get myself into? Yeah, right? I mean, they're, they're worried about building a clubhouse for this neighborhood to improve the property values, but yet they've got some homes in that neighborhood that need to be condemned. They're abandoned and they're falling apart. Sounds like Ryan wants to form a posse and make an HOA. I want to buy yeah. some of these houses, although not anymore after hearing these road closures. Maybe not. I'll wait till they fix up your road yeah. and then I'll... Yeah. Then I'll <laughs> and then he'll scoop in? Yeah, I'll scoop uh, up those. So thank you very much. Jersey homes. All right, we got a lot of fun stuff planned this morning. Who's going to start rapid fire this morning? Because roll is out. Oh, whatever. It's, any, it's whatever you want. Ahmad yeah. hasn't started it in a long time. Do this way. Ahmad, sit part. to my left when we're doing rapid fire. We'll just go around the table in that order. And uh, up for grabs. We've got a lot of prizes this morning, too. The summer 2020 free is happening at 820. Yeah. For, uh, for rapid fire? For rapid fire. Mm-hmm. Listen to this. It's a chance to win a four pack of tickets to the Nutcracker Magical Christmas Ballet, December 29th at Smart Financial Center. So it's basically Christmas in July, but these are going to be highly coveted tickets. You get them early. And you'll get them early. That's 8 o'clock this morning, 820, the summer 2020 free. Uh, got a staycation at the Omni Galleria. And, of course, you're in the running for $10,000. Kevin's got this prank call on the 7 o'clock. Oh, man, this one is so good. It's the saying we're using today is, could you say that again, but with less words? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is good. I think I might actually use the statement a couple times over the next several months. The words, because yeah, so, it's it's really really fun. And Rula's gonna miss it today. Oh, yeah. But you can you can listen. So it's gonna yes. be great. Seven a.m. Seven a.m. All right, uh, Sam, you're gonna fill in for Scoop. What's coming up? Yes. What actors bought with their first Hollywood paycheck? And some of these items, I don't think I would even buy, even if I had this money. You? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Weather today oh, is gonna be hot again. That heated. Advisory in effect. Uh, temperatures should reach over 100, 101, 102 degrees today. Right now, 81 degrees and 613 on the Rule and Ryan Show. Is Rule and Ryan Celebrity Scoop on KRBE. All right, Sam's going to step in for Rule on Scoop this yeah. morning. Yes, we just played Cardi B. I like it like that. And uh, the gift, she's actually on this list, which I'm excited about. The list is what actors bought with their first Hollywood paycheck. You know, and they made it big and they got the payday. Yes, and she bought a uh, Patek Philippe watch. And I was just Googling this because I personally have not heard of this brand. I've heard of the brand, but... Um Super I know high I can't, end, isn't it? Can't afford it. It's super high end. I said, what is, um, you know, the average cost? It's $12,500. It's <laughs> the cheapest watch up to $2 million. You know, she is, she's not getting that 12000 No way. Oh, my gosh. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, they're nice, but Why do you need a $2 million insane. watch? What does it do for $2 million? I don't know. It tells the time just like my iPhone does. Yeah. I, f- I feel for men, that's like the only thing they can really use. Their status get. symbol. Goodness gracious. Like women can get everything. They get a Purses, Chanel bag or a Birkin bag or all this. Cartier that, bracelets. Yeah. Like, I thought Rolexes were expensive, but this... this Rolexes are hard to find. I mean, that's, that doesn't even compare the price in that. So that was pretty shocking. So that's like one extreme. I feel like another, um, you know, kind of not extreme, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah. She Oprah. bought fluffy Ralph Lauren towels. Think about okay. her whole life, she probably was like... <laughs> If I ever make it. That's man. like her goal, I guess. That was her goal. But you know those to fluffy get. towels? They don't dry you. I like my old ratty towels. Ew, no. You got rat towels. I got rat, rat towels. Yeah. The ones that have yeah, holes right. in them. If they're, if they're too fluffy. I, I, when they're too fluffy, too they don't dry. The water yeah. beads off of it. What? I love fluffy towels. Yeah, they got to have a little bit of like crunch to them. Maybe a robe. Cl- yeah, fluffy, fluffy robe. robe. Who wears robes? There's no way any of you wear robes. No. No, no I got one for here. my wedding monogrammed even, and I don't, it's still packed away in the plastic. I know there's shorts and yeah. a t-shirt. Yeah, I'm more comfortable. A robe is so cumbersome. If well, I was at a resort, legs are all yeah, things open, can pop like, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, things get untied. It's just, that's not a good vibe. I don't that's, like that. You said... Oh, my gosh. (laughs) No one said that. (laughs) Selena Gomez, she bought a Louis Vuitton laptop bag. Whoa. Okay. Which I think is cute. And she said that when she bought that, she thought she was like going to be real studious, but she was terrified about getting it dirty, obviously. And the only other thing that she put in there was lip gloss. So she kept. So she didn't keep her laptop in the laptop bag. Sometimes her laptop in there, but other times it was just her so it's lip just gloss. It's just a status thing. It's like people that yeah. have a nice car. It's like, they don't, I can't take anywhere. I can't go there. Oh, I yeah, can't yeah, park yeah. there. Oh, it's yeah. Like, you can't live. A car was on the list. Uh, Jennifer Aniston, she bought a used Mercedes 
Really? Yes. Okay. A white used Mercedes. She said that she saw it there for almost two years and she kept thinking, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. She only drove it twice because then it stopped. <laughs> it stopped working. Aww. Yeah. So that was a bust. And then um, Timothy. Um, Charlemagne? Or Chalamet? No. Chalamet. What's Chalamet? the guy's name? Timothy Chalamet. Thank you. Chalamet. <laughs> Chalamet. Shalomet, thank that you. Dune Shalomet. <laughs> Kevin can't wait for Dune 2 to come on in a few weeks. <laughs> Is that how you man. say it? Yeah. Shalomet. <laughs> he bought nosebleed season tickets for the New York Knicks when he thought that LeBron James was going to be joining the team. Okay. Why would you buy crappy seats? I don't have no idea. Maybe because... Plus, Plus they're expensive. Yeah. Think about the they're garden. super expensive. That's why I think he just oh, got being, the nosebleed. They're being cautious. Like, it's I your get, first paycheck. I want to buy right. Rockets tickets because I know they're going to be good in the next two two. Yeah. Two years. Maybe even this year they might surprise us. But, but would you buy so tickets expensive. thinking that a star, like an athlete was going to go there and then they did it? Because he ended up not going and then Timothy was stuck yeah. trying to sell off all the tickets. It's a gamble because if you buy them before, it's like, uh, what's that soccer play you, you love? It went to Miami? Messi? Oh, yeah. Messi. Like, They're selling his tickets, tickets for $150,000. Yeah. Are you so imagine if you no. Imagine if you had season insane. tickets before insane. you just loved soccer. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, then and then you can upsell them. And then he joined, and you're like, holy crap. That's what they're you reselling just, them for. Ooh, if you bought those tickets before you joined the team, that's a good buy. Right. Some people did that with, uh, like, Astros World Series tickets. Mm-hmm. If you had four season tickets. That's you true. sell two during the playoffs, you just paid for the whole next year's uh, season. Sweet. That's true. Anybody else on this list? Um, Tom Cruise, he paid for one of his sister's college tuition and bought his other sister a car. See, I like that. I like I that spreading that was, the wealth uh, and yeah. helping your family. And then um, you've heard about uh, Sylvester Sloan about his pup that he had to sell. He was so desperate for money, he had to sell his dog. He sold his oh, dog? He Back sold his, yeah, you guys didn't know about this? Times are tough. Sold. You got to sell your dog? He sold his dog for $50, and then he ended up selling, you know, the Rocky script mm-hmm. and got, I think, and then I think he went and paid his friend like three grand for the dog back. Oh, that's, oh, well, that's good yeah. that he got his dog back. Yes, it's a bull mastiff. But he paid his friend 50 bucks for him to take his dog. He was that desperate. But he paid or, his sorry, friend? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. His friend paid him. His friend paid him oh. 50 bucks to take his dog. And then once he sold his Rocky script, he um, ended up paying $3,000. There is no it's amount of money I would dog. take for my dog, and what's ever. three grand in, like, 1977? Oh, that first Rocky movie yeah. came out in 75. Oh, 75? Yeah, 75, 76. It was, I, they were filming it in 75. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was, like, later. No. There was, was later a, there was a gap too. between Rocky 2 and 3. Big gap. Really? Yeah. Because Rocky III was like in the 80s. That was the 80s, yeah. Yeah, Damn. those are those are the top. Those are the ones that I thought were interesting and fun. I can't um, believe you Amab, what would you dog. get if you got a big paycheck in radio? Yeah. That's your first, first What's All your first you full-time purchase? Doing a morning show in I keep, Des Moines, Iowa. I keep You're saying and I feel like I'm like repeating it all the time, but I would definitely buy a trip to Japan. I would take my whole family. We will all go ball out in Japan. We'll do Mario Kart in the streets. <laughs> Uh, I'll go to that one Japanese restaurant that only takes like six people at a time. It's like really fancy sushi. Oh, nice. Like I would do all of that. Really? Definitely. I didn't well, know you had such a uh, a craving to do that. Yes. Ever since I was in high school, I've loved like the idea of going to Japan. Well, I think you have a better chance playing the lottery tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. In yeah. radio. I'm going to try. It's not that kind of thing. It's like 900 million, right? <laughs> That's a billion. Oh, it's a billion It's now. a billion. Oh, by the way, Oof. two people... Um, one, um, where is it? They won, somebody won in spring. Where is Somebody's it? Oh, bucks? it was located, yeah. Yeah, somebody woke up with $2 million. Somebody got the Powerball ticket in spring. Nice. They didn't yeah. match all the numbers, but got yeah, that $2 million. So somebody became a millionaire in spring. If you got a huge paycheck from your first job, what did you buy? Or, or, or yeah, are you that? still, I'm still waiting for that yeah, paycheck, so. <laughs> I can absolutely remember that first, the first paycheck I got, the yeah, first big paycheck. Yeah, what did you buy? Because I drove nothing but crap cars, like, I mean, uh, like, held together with tape. Right. The first thing I ever bought, my big frivolous purchase, I bought a Saturn. Remember those cars? Uh, yeah. Yes. And was it a two-door or four-door? I think it was a two-door. Okay. And like, I bought a Saturn, and that was, was it. And that thing lasted 14 years. I bought the Maserati. Oh, my gosh. That was your big purchase? Yeah, Maserati was cool. Woo. Yeah. That's a baller car. Kev? I bought m- my truck and a house. Oh, my gosh. Well, because uh, I found out what it's like to get an agent. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Look at <him> now! <laughs> well, in reality, okay. for people that understand, it sounds bougie that you have to... <laughs> it sounds bougie that you have to have an agent, but remember, when you go to work for a media company, whether it be radio or television, they've got a team of 400 corporate lawyers. You think boneheads like yeah, us stupid. can actually negotiate a fair deal you have nope. to hire somebody nope. to do that for you 
No. So, that's why you have to have an agent. I still have that same truck and I still have that house, but I'm not living in it. Either one of them. Oh, Harvey. <laughs> Harvey took my car, so I don't have that car anymore. Right. Oh, Harvey. I don't know what I would buy. Like, if I got Wait, a big on, raise. What would you buy? Like, frivolous. Net. Well, I, the thing that would suck is my husband is my financial uh, advisor, and advisor. You know, he's very responsible with money. He handles the books. Custodian. Oh, yes. I'd call it more of a custodian. Ah, cleaning up the mess. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. What did Britney mouth? have? What did Britney Spears have? Yeah, she yeah. Conservatorship. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mine is not that intense, okay? okay? It's free just Sam. like Yeah, free Sam. <laughs> give her money. Um, no, I, I don't know what I would buy because I have my dream car. Oh, yeah, you do. I you love my Jeep car? Gladiator. Oh, oh, you have it. I, thought- I have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I have that. I don't know. Housewise, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be living here in Houston forever. So I don't think I would want to spend money on a you house. sell it, though. Yeah. And then rent it out. That's true. There's always people moving here. That's true. If I did buy a house, my only requirements for my next house is, one, it has to have a garage again because my new house currently does not have a garage. And taking Santiago out of the house with his, like, stroller that I have to carry out through the steps and everything, it is a nightmare. And then if it's raining, it's just a hot mess. So even when he's younger, you're trying to... Wrangle him in because he'll be oh, chasing yeah. Misty he's around gonna the car. Oh, yeah, he's going to be chasing Misty. It's going to be crazy. We're late for school. you got to get going. Well, so also, I want a garage and a pool. Those are my two requirements for my next house. Sam I don't think the pool's going to happen. Sam has a tight driveway, too, so it's It it's is so tight. tight. When I was pregnant, I couldn't fit. <laughs> I literally could only pull into the very front where there was some space. because so you my couldn't belly open the door and fit your I belly could out. not. I could not fit. Oh I could not fit, guys. And I can't fit. I couldn't fit in my laundry room either because my belly was so big <laughs> oh and the God. wall was so close. Oh, going around that corner there. Uh, yes! <laughs> What's funny, too, is like... Like uh, having a pool. Like Ryan was just saying, he hasn't been in his pool. I know. I need to just I, invite, I'm going to invite myself in yesterday- over. Sam, I, you can. You're welcome to. But I jumped in it yesterday. Yeah. It was like getting in boiling soup. It is Fine, not I'll take it. fun. I right know. Now. I will take it. Especially I feel like it's worth it. after mowing the grass or doing any yard work. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. Like you yes. just fall well, right I went in. out and I did a couple miles yesterday in this heat. And I jumped right into the pool yes. in my workout clothes. I was like, ow, it's hot in here. <laughs> I feel like I it's worth it. Just get naked and do it. Yeah, yeah, because well, people can yeah, see there's two story houses all around my house. Even better, look and down he's going people for mayor. Me. He doesn't oh, yeah, want to yeah. turn anyone. <laughs> I don't. I don't need to have any of those. <laughs> you don't need your photos. neighbors be like, "We'll vote you in, Ryan." Show us. They the see gun. that. They see that. <laughs> they see that dong. They're like, "Oh hell yeah, we're getting him as mayor." <laughs> oh my god! You get the pity vote, is what you're saying. Stop the it. Pity vote. Stop all right, it. Coming up next. Oh, speaking of neighbors and and money. <laughs> What would you do if you won that big lottery tonight to your neighbor next to you that you don't like? To my neighbor? <laughs> you, neighbor. Won, you win this money. What would you do to get revenge on that neighbor? Do people hate their neighbors that much? There's people out there. I like we, my neighbors. We I open up the... Me. seems like we open up the phones and people... Hate their neighbors. Okay. Neighbors. Like, I'll give you an example. I moved, but even if I won it tonight, I would buy six or seven of those Sprinter... Mercedes, yeah, big and vans. I put them all You're around my old brat. house, where my neighbor would always put his in front of my house and not move it for like six months. Oh my god! So I would buy six of those and put them there, and just leave them there. I don't Eric's, care. That's they'd a little brand new. They'd even be brand new, <laughs> not used. I'm buying brand new ones. They're just gonna sit there, <laughs> sit there, and not move. And all right. right, we'll open up the lines at seven one three three nine zero KRBE. If you got a beef with your neighbor right now and you suddenly won the lottery, what would you do to them with that money? Yeah, it's not just move away. Yeah, that's by live well. And Moving live away is home. like the easy way, but they cause a lot of pain in your you know in your life. You want to torture them? What would you do? Come on, seven one three three nine zero five seven two three. We'll hear from you next on the Roland Ryan Show. Okay, so everybody starts fantasizing when the Powerball is up to a billion, billion with a B, billion dollars right now. Somebody actually got $2 million in spring. Good for They got that, that yesterday. So most people think like, oh, what would I do if I had all that money? Eric likes to think, how would I piss off my neighbor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you have a neighbor that just annoys the hell out of you and then you win, sure, you could just move away. You're probably going to move anyway, but why would you do that? Why not get a little payback on your exact way out revenge. Or, or let somebody else just live in that house 
it's to get revenge on them that, that you know would annoy the hell out of them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, let's go to the phones. Yeah, it's not to, yeah. Uh, is ben. it Ben? Yeah. Ben. Good morning, Ben. You're yep. on the Rule and Rain show. What would you do, man? Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning, good morning Ben. I just want to say I love y'all. Well, well thank you. See y'all every day. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Love you. So, so on the weekends, when I'm off from work, I have these neighbors who, like, play their music and party and, and do what they do real loud until real early in the next morning. So what I would do is I would buy the best of the best sound system and blare my own music to, like, all of their houses on the weekdays so that way they'd get no oh, sleep. Oh, yeah. You should do that now. Yeah. Why you not do it now? Build a wall of Marshall lamps, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. What kind of music are they playing? Uh, they're, so they're, like, a mix of, of different people. So sometimes it's, like, Spanish music or Hispanic music or, like, you know, like, I don't know, any kind of music, really. It doesn't even matter, matter what type of but music, it like it's just that the volume. I mean, it'd be nice if it was like mm-hmm. jazz or something yeah. slow. I don't want yeah. jazz. Yeah. jazz. Oh, Dude, oh, go mad. Yeah. Jazz would drive me nuts. <laughs> blues, I wouldn't mind blues. Yeah. Blues I'd drive me yeah. nuts. Ahmad said the same thing. Oh, my gosh. Ben, I would go even a step further because my my neighbor will come home, like, on a random Tuesday night with some girl that he's trying to impress and will blast music from, like, 11 o'clock until I'm waking up for work at, like, no. 4.30 in the morning. Oh, you know what you got to do, Ahmad? No, here's what I'm going to do, Ryan. I'm going to win this billion, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to move everything out of my house. I'm going to get the giantest, biggest subwoofer, and I'm locking it in there. I'm dead bolting it. They're going to have to C4 off the door. Oh, my God. And I'm blasting the girliest <laughs> K-poppy music. The stuff you love. The stuff I love. Uh, <laughs> until, like, at least 24-7, until the police come knocking. I, I don't care. I'm blasting. Where's he music. at in relation to your place? Like he's, he's right like, up against the wall. So uh, you walk into my apartment, right? He's the apartment to the left. Okay. But when I'm like facing my TV, his apartment's straight ahead. Mm. Okay. So here's it's like do. it's like in your coming face. at me, and yeah. I hate here's what it. you do because I, I had a douchey neighbor like that. I was an apartment dweller for most of my life, and this dude would play the most annoying music all the time. When I had to get up and do overnights. And I started out here at KRBE doing the overnight shift. I was like, I was like eleven o'clock at night till six in the morning. I would take my speaker and I'd push it up against the wall, mm-hmm. and I repeat. I is back when you had CD changers, and I played the same song over and over again. I left, and I left it for eight hours. Ugh. It played the same song. What over song and over. was it? It was Soundgarden Outshined. So it's like kind of a hard, loud song, and I just played that. And we had a little conversation in the hallway, and his his ways changed. You should just have the conversation first. Yeah. I was pissed off. Well, how about you, Ahmad? Have you ever just talked to the guy or not um, knock on the door and just say, hey, man? Your music's pipe down. real loud. I don't want to You don't peaceful. like confrontation? No, I, I don't so mind mad. confrontation. I don't want to be peaceful with you. You don't care about my peace when you're playing music at but maybe 3 a.m. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe he doesn't know it's so loud. Just like when I he lived in the townhouse. He doesn't know it's so loud? Come on now. Like, it's like, maybe he thinks the walls are really thick. Yeah. No, it's it's ridiculous, Sam. Maybe like, he has it turned all the way Extracurricular Hearing. Yeah. Would you, would, oh, no. would you last place, hear? Remember the last that place that I lived banging. in, the townhouse? Oh, yeah. Where I had the drug dealers across the street, and the chick beside me was a t- prostitute, oh, and I, I could that. hear her oh, doing no. her popcorn making. <laughs> so I'd much rather hear music because really? our bedrooms were literally, her bed was against my bed. Oh, no. Oh, oh, so no. She, and she was a rather loud actress? Oh, yes. Very much. That's like, she was, was getting her money. That movie, oh. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. You ever see that one? Yes. Yeah. Remember they, That's not how I felt like. exes were next like, to each other. Yes. They're trying to compete. Yes. Make a noise. That's how it was when I lived in that freaking townhouse because that girl was. Mm. Look how far you've come in. That That was like, what, three years ago? Four years ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was. You blossomed. Because you've been with you. us four years. Thank you. I blossomed into a home. Now you have a couple of homes. Your yeah. mom? It's because of my husband. <laughs> you, went from, you went from apartment living to now two houses. Look at you. And, 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 and a baby. Like a and year and a half and a baby. baby. Oh, a yeah. I, have, I feel like I've matured, kind of. You mm-hmm. know, like my life no, looks really, like matured. Yeah, but I haven't. Seven, you can't, you can't, you can't get back. It's just my husband. You Thank can't you. get back at your neighbors because... Listen. You can buy Kevlar. <laughs> my immediate next door oh neighbor, God. if I could do anything, he's so nice. He only painted his house as far as he could reach. Aww. So no. if you could imagine what no a ladder? human can reach, no ladder. He just painted as high as his arm would go and as low as his arm would go. Arm would go. So Aww. it's only painted in the middle across <laughs> the house. <laughs> and it has been that way since I moved in Can't you get almost him a ladder? three years ago. I should get... 
you know what's funny? He has a ladder on top of his house that he goes does. into a tree. Mm-hmm. And that has been there for six months as what? well. Yeah. Well, because it sounds like a really classy area. He, he There's a ladder from the roof into a tree. <laughs> You're trying to sell this place? No, I'm not Rent trying to sell it. <laughs> this is going to be a rental for out-of-town folks, uh, so they won't okay. know. Yes. Yeah, they get there and they're like, oh, my God, where are we staying? <laughs> you just don't show them the neighborhood. No, 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 no. Do you have bars in the windows? No, it's not that kind of neighborhood. But I'll tell you what, my other neighbor has trunk funk and muffler funk. I don't know if you guys band? understand what, what that, that trunk is. Funk? Trunk <laughs> funk is when, funk. The, when the trunk rattles so hard from the bass mm. that you can hear it about to pop open. And <laughs> oh, then, yeah. I don't know what you actually call it, muffler funk. That's when they're, they're going down the road. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Like, wow. So Isn't that it. hurting y'all's ears, too, yeah. as you're driving in that vehicle? If I'm inside my house and it's hurting me, what's it like when you're inside that vehicle? Because it shakes my teeth, windows. Your cavities and or your, uh, <laughs> your molars. molars your everything fillings. Would, everything your fillings would be like, shaking yeah. off. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> creepy. Don't know. It's the Rula and Ryan Show on KRBE with what's going down, down. 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 in H-Town. It is brought to you by Duncan. And speaking of Duncan, they've got a new in-store fundraiser. It's called Shine gold. Houston area Duncan locations invite people uh, to come in, contribute $2, you get a free Gold Joy donut. 100% of the funds raised are going to go to the Periwinkle Foundation here in Houston. Cool. And this is such a great cause. It's for children battling cancer. And it's going to be going on now through August 5th at Houston area Duncan locations. So you can do something great, get a delicious treat, and help out children that are fighting cancer right now. So between now and all August, August 5th. 5th. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Pop in, please. Uh, if you're an adult and you're looking to get away from the kids, Typhoon Texas has announced it's going to open exclusively for 21 and up crowd this Friday night. The water park will host the grown-up getaway from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., where adults can enjoy attractions, fun and games, an evening comedy show. If you'd like to get tickets, go to TyphoonTexas.com. That'd be kind of fun to go to a water park, no kids. Oh, yeah. There you go. Especially grab a couple drinks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wee. You're right. That would be good. Yeah. No little ankle biters. No ankle biters. Now, if you're in the need for a new vehicle, you're in luck because the office of Montgomery County, the Precinct 5 Constable, has uh, announced that they're auctioning off a seized black-on-black Lamborghini. And this thing is awesome looking. Hot I saw it on click2houston.com. It's going to be August 2nd. The car is going to be sold as is for cash to the highest bidder. Cash. That means you have to bring a briefcase of cash. No, you really? can write a check. Check uh, is cash. Is it? I cashier's have gone check. to like a cashier's these. check, maybe, or yeah. something? Right? I have gone to yeah. these, and it is briefcases. Really? really? And, or bags, or duffel bags. That sounds scary. Cash. This car it looks is. like a Batmobile. It is amazing looking. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the probably. auction's going to be at 10 a.m. All bidders must be registered with the office officer conducting the sale at Precinct 5. Okay, we should go in there with a briefcase, and we have, like... Just $200 in it. <laughs> one. Just one. Pull, out, pull out yeah. one stack. Ready. I'll make the first bid. $200. <laughs> and somebody woke up $2 million richer yesterday after buying a Powerball ticket in spring. The billion dollar Powerball prize is still up for grabs, but one lucky, lucky person was able to hit um, at a store located in Aldine Westfield Road. $2 million. That'll change your life. Let's go in on a pot, you guys. You guys all give me the money and I'll get the tickets. Oh, yeah, right. You just buy pot with it. That's yeah, what right. you do. <laughs> All right, coming up next, Special K. I'm looking forward to this. The telemarketer turnaround. We're going to throw the same statement at them, and this one is a lovely, fun statement. It says, can you say that again, but with less words? <laughs> <laughs> can they do that? I guess we'll find out. Telemarketer turnaround. It's coming up next on the Rule and Ride Show.